Amen. Oh. Thank you, Father God. Thanks and glory. God. God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. It's God. double Thank today. You. It's double today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Double breakthrough. Yes, Lord. Double blessing. Thank you. Double joy. Double prosperity. Double freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Double outpouring of your spirit. A double outpouring of your glory, Lord. This is we're calling for this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Oh, we praise you in this house, Father. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give it all to you, Lord. Oh, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are all the glory, all the majesty, it all goes to you, Lord. We praise you this morning. We lift up a shout of praise to you this morning, and we praise you. Oh, we shout joy. Shouts of praise to you. Oh, we give it all to you, Lord. We give it all to you. Thank you, Lord. Say, Holy Spirit, come now. Come and invade this place. Come and invade this sanctuary. Come and invade each and every single one of us, Father God. We need your power. We need your power this morning. Oh, Father God, bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it upon us, dear Lord. Father, even as Mike, is getting, Mike and Carmen are getting ready to descend on that site in Ottawa, Father God, I'm, I'm calling down the host of heaven's angels now, a host of heaven's army to go and shred every platform over that very site, Father God, we bind up every demonic force over this call, every demonic force, all black magic, all wizardry, every spirit of darkness that's hovering over Ottawa and even over this very call today, we bind it up now and we say, you rebuke it, Lord, you take care of it, Father God. We will not have it. We yes, will Lord. not stand for it. We will not take it. We will not tolerate it. We commend it now to go. And I thank you, Lord, that you dispatched the host this morning to clear the airwaves over Ottawa, to clear the airwaves over, over uh, Hull, Quebec, over the Rideau Canal, right there, Father God, right there on the banks of the Ottawa River, Father God. Thank you for clearing the atmosphere, God, and cleansing it now. That yes, when they Lord. take the blood of the lamb over that place, it can yes, never Lord. again be retaken for the purposes yes, of, 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 of Satan. Yes, Father God, I thank you right here, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, that, that you dispatch them now. Take care of this, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Amen. Blessed Lord. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Praise you, Jesus. Good morning. Thank you, Lord. 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 Listen. Listen, guys. I don't. I don't know what happened in the pre-call here. You need. You. You just. I'm. I'm asking each and every single one of you to really press up in prayer. I'm telling you, the warfare for the last week has just been intense, even again this morning. There, there, you know, we had to do some, we had to make some strategic moves this week, and there has been a backlash for it. It's coming against the fast trader. Uh, they're seeking to uh, besmeach my name. Uh, there is warfare over the technology. There's no live streams going into Facebook or YouTube today. Uh, and, and listen, I, I could just go on and on and on and on what they've done with our personal circumstances here now. And so I listen, guys, we, we're, we're taking ground and everything we're witnessing. You said, count it all joy when you see these trials. And so, Lord, we count it as all joy. I just take it as a sign that we are over the target. But, Lord, I am calling down reinforcements from heaven this morning over this call, over these people, over this nation, over Mike and Carmen, over me personally, over Michaela, Lord. Lord. And I break and I bind and I speak against every spirit of darkness, wickedness, witchcraft, the occult, wizardry, and everything that comes against the purposes of God that we are doing here in this place. I speak against it now. We bind it up. And Father God, I am calling down the reinforcements from heaven to come and break it and bind it and cast it off into the great abyss now. We will not tolerate it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. <laughs> We praise you, Lord. Even in trial, we shout out shouts of praise to you. We thank you, Lord. The key, the praise is the key to coming into the kingdom. Praise. You always sent forth the worshipers, the minstrels, oh, the musicians. They always went ahead of the great army, Father God. And this is where the victory lay. Today again, we set forth the angels, the ministering angels, the minstrels, the worship warriors, Father God. We send them forth now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that this war has been won 
one. We see the end from the beginning. We see the victory, and we stand on this battle today, on this very battlefield. Father God, declaring victory over evil. We see it. We command it. We we, we accept it, and we take nothing short of it, Lord. So I thank you, God, this morning. I thank you, Lord, this morning that we are over the target, and you are with us. You're behind us. You said you'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. Oh, there are times when we feel that you're not there, but oh, when you're not there, it's because you're doing a mighty, great work. We're not hearing your voice because you are working on our behalf. We proclaim every single day, even when we don't see you, you're working. You're covering us. You're fighting battles, even the ones that we're unaware of, Lord. And I thank you this morning that that promise is true, and we stand on that yet again this very day here on this double portion. So Father God, I am calling down a double portion of victory on this 14th day of September in the year of 2022, another double portion of it. So God, I'm asking for quadruple portions of your victory, of your overcoming power now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for that in the name of Jesus. And I think we just blow off. We're going to give a shout of the trumpet call now. Lord, we are calling forth the host. We are calling forth the angelic realm. We are calling down your reinforcements. We're calling your ear. We're speaking directly to you, Yahweh. We need you this morning. We need you every day. We need you each and every day. But if we ever needed you, we need you this day, Lord. So come now, come now, come Holy Spirit. Invade the atmosphere of this nation. Invade the atmosphere of this sanctuary. Invade the atmosphere of this very home and the very people that are on this call now. Each and every single one of us, Lord, I'm calling it down in the name of Jesus Christ. You've given me the authority to do this and i am using that authority now this morning and i am calling it out now lord come 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 holy spirit come angelic realm come hosts and shred every plot every platform that would seek to stand against your purposes in this hour lord lord do it not for me do it for the sake of your people do it for the sake of your own creation father god do it for the sake of the people that you created do it for the sake of this dominion of canada and do it for the sake of your nation the united states of america the republic of america being reborn in this very hour oh there it is and he just said to me he says what you're feeling are the birth pains of a brand new beginning i'm telling you i i, I can't i can't even i can't even describe to you the kind of pain and the anguish that i've been feeling here this morning and i just i thought you know it's going to be a lighter day than yesterday we're just going to come in here and have some joy it's going to be a lot lighter than yesterday and i woke up this morning and just oh i just i don't i don't even know how to scream you just you just you just feel the pressure in the atmosphere and i said lord okay i'll count it as all joy i, I won't deny i'm not going to speak it and i'm not going to give it any power but i'm going to rejoice in you this morning lord and father we're calling you down and i speak to every spirit coming against the technology i speak against everything coming against our live streams and we command you now to go you release in the name of jesus christ get out of here and every demonic spirit and all of those individuals ruled by the power of satan that have come against the fast trader and those that have tried that have, that have spoken against my very name lord i call you out now you said there is no weapon form that shall rise against us and you said that every single tongue that rises up against us we shall refute well this morning i am asking you lord you must refute this now Oh, Lord, I do not want to call the lawyers, but I will do it. But you are my great advocate. I call you the righteous judge. I call you the great advocate. We will not go into a court of this earth. We will go into the court of heaven this very day. And Father God, I'm asking you to make a way. I'm asking you for a verdict of not guilty. And I'm thanking you, Lord, that that verdict is being rendered even now. And I'm thanking you, Father God, right here, right now, that you pave a way. And I'm asking for divine restraining order over the fast trader. I'm asking for a divine restraining order over everything we do on this, on this Zoom call. I'm asking for divine restraining orders against those that would seek the opening accounts over at, over at Endax. I'm asking for a divine restraining order over the purposes of what we're doing here, over our finances, Father God. I rebuke him, Father God. I'm asking that the thief be caught and he be found guilty now in the name of Jesus Christ that he must repay according to your own word. I make this petition in your courtroom and father god i'm thanking you now that this court issue its verdict of not guilty that this chicanery this nonsense it stops now and father i'm asking you as you issue divine restraining orders against all of this wizardry and all of this witchcraft and all of this nonsense father god even over the insurance companies that are now starting to mess with us father god right here right now i am asking you that you assign high-ranking angelic officers of this very court now to enforce these 
restraining orders here in our earth realm. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you not just only issue the restraining orders, but you send high-ranking angelic officers of your court to come now and enforce these restraining orders. We will not have it, and I'm asking you, the righteous judge, to assist us now in the carrying out of your judgments and your verdicts and the issuance of your restraining orders. And Lord, I thank you right here, right now, in the powerful, mighty name of Jesus Christ, we receive it. We say it is done. It is done. Jesus, when you said it was finished, you said it was finished, and I'm calling you on that promise now this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, enough is enough. Wow. You know, it's amazing. Every time I blow that thing, a different tone comes out of it. I can put my lips in the exact same place. He just knows exactly what tone needs to come out. Oh, I sense victory in the air here this morning. I'm telling you guys, I don't share the half of it with you. The warfare has been big. The warfare has been intense. And uh, But Lord, we just rise up in victory now. We shout shouts of praise in your name, Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 your way is the only way. And we will continue to go the way of the cross and not the way of the crowd. No matter what the enemy throws in our direction, we will continue to march forward. We will continue to march on. We will continue to proclaim victory for we know that yours is the victory. Lord God, host of heaven, it's all yours. We give it to you and we thank you now. Father God, even before we see the manifested presence of the fullness of it here on our earth. We know that you've already done it. You said it is finished. You said that we're victorious and we claim that victory now in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Well, I tell you, I was up in the shower half an hour ago going, Lord, I don't have any idea what you want me to talk about this morning because I'm not feeling it. You ever felt in a place where you just feel like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where are you? Where are you? Where, where are you? Where are you? Where, where are you? Where are you? I th I've been feeling that for a couple of days, to be honest with you. Where are you? Where are you? But he shows up and he speaks here every morning. He shows up and he speaks here every morning. He's taking us to a new place. And I think that's what he's saying this morning. Maybe there's some of you here today and you're, and you're finding that you, you, it's just different. It's different. You're, you've always communicated with them in a certain way and, 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 and it's not there anymore. And I think that that's what he's been, that's what he's saying to me. He says, I'm leading you into a new season. It's not going to be the same old church. It's not going to be the same old communication channels. It's not going to be the same old doctrine of man. It's not going to be the same old expectation. I'm about to do a new and mighty and wondrous thing. And the things that I'm about to do, oh, you'll recognize that they're me, but they will not look like what I did in the past. Oh, I'm about to pour out a brand new thing. And you, I'm, I'm preparing you, my people. I'm preparing you, Howard. I'm preparing you, Teresa Trent, David and Deanna, Shirley, all of you. I'm preparing you, James. Scott, Jake, Luther, I'm preparing you in this hour for a new thing. I am preparing you for a new thing, and I'm training your ears to listen to a new sound. I'm training your ears to hear a new sound, to feel a new frequency. I'm training you up to now take a new, oh, there it is right there. And that was a brand new frequency. I'd never heard that frequency come out of that shofar before. And this is exactly what he's doing here this morning. He's training us. He's training us. He's training us to pick up a brand new frequency and a brand new song and to recognize a brand new sound from heaven for what we will see in the days ahead will look nothing like we saw in the days before. And oh, Lord, I just praise you. We praise you this place, Lord. We praise you in this place. We praise you in this place. And Lord, whether there's a live stream or no live stream or whether I fight with technology for 20 minutes or 30 minutes or five minutes, Father God, we will do this call each and every single day. We'll do it from the moon. We'll do it from the desert. We'll do it from Ontario. We'll do it from Vancouver. We'll do it from Florida. We will do it in the desert place. We'll do it from the car. We'll do it from the office. We'll do it from the side of the ocean. We will do it wherever we are, Father God. And there is nothing that can stop the move of your spirit. And I speak to you now, every spirit of hell, this will not be stopped. This will not be thwarted. We will not retrench, retract, retrace. We will not stop in the name of the Lord God most high we proclaim victory over you satan and all of your demons right here right now in the name of jesus christ we will not tolerate you we will not tolerate you we will not tolerate you Oh, you think you've pushed us down. You've only made us stronger. Oh, you think you've pushed us down. You've only made us grow wider and deeper and taller. 
more resilient. Oh, we don't even have the armor of God on us now. We've got layers of stainless steel all over it. It won't even stick to us anymore. Oh, we proclaim that now. This morning, Lord, we will put on the full stainless steel armor of God this very day. It will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow, well, I didn't know we were going to start like that, but we uh, we started like that. So, oh, we praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. All right, just to give you a quick heads up before we uh, we'll take we'll pull up a song this morning. We got we got Psalm 101 ready to go. Uh, we're going to make our declaration. We're going to hold this one back. We'll probably finish this call up a little early today uh, because Mike and Carmen are in Ottawa revisiting the site of that first spike that went down in Ottawa. So at 10 o'clock uh, Pacific time, which is one o'clock Eastern time, which is, you know, so they're, they're going to be on site uh, taking communion on that site and rebuilding the altar. I talked to him yesterday. I spoke to him actually while he was there yesterday. And, you know, 12 stones from Vancouver went on to that site in Ottawa. Ten of those stones were still sitting there. Ten of them are still there. So he's going to go and he's going to go re-erect that altar. And so we'll broadcast that. I don't think it's going to go on for an hour or so. Uh, we'll probably rehash a little history for those that need to get caught up. And uh, we'll broadcast that here on this Zoom channel. Pray, pray that we get the technology going because there's a lot of people that are going to want to see this and it's going to need to it's going to need to be broadcast out and for what the last the last week you know the honestly the last week just, it's just, i'm just going to laugh at it i'm just going to laugh at it you know turning on these live streams i don't just click a button you know it's about i got about 15 minutes of things that i need to do to make each live stream go and it's just uh, it's just it's just anyway Anyway, anyway. Hey, Howard. Anyway. Howard, just quickly, if I could, just because I've, uh, I'm going to be off until uh, we go at 1 here at uh, 10 a.m. or 10 uh, a.m. there. Um, I'm just going to show you where our hotel room, we got blessed by a room that oversees the parliament buildings here where the, the, uh, the spike is just down beyond that building where we're going to be standing there at 1 o'clock. The parliament buildings here in the background. Uh, just an ordinary place. I did a run around all of that today, preparing. <clears throat> the Lord has shown me exactly where he wants that spike in the ground today, right at the back uh, cliff that I'm going to go up to do that at 2.30 today as well, and just could not be more excited. I hear all that you're saying. I know the struggles, the stuff that's coming opposed to this, but there is a breakthrough today. He gave me, I'm going to show you a maple leaf that I jumped, I was running and I stepped over. I went back, he said, pick it up said there's a new day for Canada I'm going to show you that thing Amen. later a prophetic word that he gave me that this is the turnaround things are coming the the forces of evil will not go easily and they're putting up their final but they have gone down he is victorious and boy to amen it's going to be yeah, a, it's a good strong word very strong word that I uh, like the one behind your head and I, <clears throat> that's going to take place today blessings to you all and we'll see you later yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you in about two hours. All right. God bless you. Thank you for bringing that. That's a great encouragement. All right. We we'll changed the view here. And uh, all right, we're just going to we're just going to bring it up. So I've got Psalm 101. Oh, from tears to praise. You just can't make up. You can't just can't make up the stuff, though. even the way that he lines up the Psalms every day. <laughs> Today, we're going to be reading from tears to praise. And we're going to start with come as you are. Oh, come out of sadness from wherever you've been. Oh, come brokenhearted and let the rescue begin. Will you hear what Mike just said today is the day that, oh, come broken, come out of sadness wherever you've been. Come brokenhearted, let rescue begin. Come find your mercy. Oh, sinner, come kneel. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow, no hardship, no difficulty that heaven can't heal. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. Oh, wanderer, come home. You're not too far. So lay down your heart, lay down your heart and just come as you are. There's hope for the hopeless and those who have strayed. Come sit at the stable, come, come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's rest for the weary and rest that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. Come as you are. Fall in his arms. Just come as you are. Fall in his arms. 
just come as you are fall in his arms there's joy for the morning oh sinner be still earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal and if earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal that means that heaven is coming to heal that sorrow and so, Lord, we praise you again this morning. We, pay, we praise you in the warfare. We praise you in the oppression. We praise you in the moments of joy. And we pay, praise you in the moments of testing. We praise you in the moments of oppression. And we praise you for the great breakthrough. For if there were not a moment of oppression, there would be not a moment of breakthrough. And so, Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you are the Lord of the breakthrough. And a double portion of that breakthrough is coming. And yet again, this very day, we give it all up to you. We give it all up to you, Lord. Oh, thank you, God. God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Now, let me just get my window open here very quickly. It is, it's, <laughs> it's not warm outside, but it's pretty warm in here. All right. Thank you, Father God. We just give it all to you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your written word. You line it all up. And today's Psalm is Psalm 102 in the new, in the Passion Translation from, from Tears to Praise. A prayer for those who are overwhelmed for all the discouraged who come to pour out their hearts before the Lord. What did we just read? Just come as you are. Oh, lay it down. Lay down your hurt. Lay down your heart. Just come as you are. And here we have a prayer for those who are overwhelmed and all of those discouraged who have come to pour out their hearts before the Lord. I'll tell you, I have not, I, I, that discouragement is not my thing. Okay. So I have not been feeling discouraged, but I'll tell you, I've been feeling, I've been feeling a lot of overwhelm the last couple of days. I'll give you that one. All right. So Lord, this, I just raised this up for all of us here this morning, for all of us, those who are going to need it in the days ahead, those that need it today. Father God, we take this Psalm 102 and we proclaim it as a proclamation and a declaration over the members of this church, over this body, over this ecclesia, Father God, over, over the, over, well, the and I am recording it. So I will upload it. So those that sitting on Facebook, you'll see this after those on YouTube, you will see it after this, we are recording and this will be uploaded. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for your very word. <clears throat> Lord, Lord, listen to my prayer. Listen to my cry for help. You can't hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Stoop down to hear my prayer and answer me quickly, Lord. For my days of happiness have gone up in smoke. My body is raging with fever. My heart is sick. I'm consumed with this illness. Withered like a dead leaf. I can't even eat. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Nothing's left of me but whispered groans. I'm like a pelican out in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I'm sleepless, shivering in the cold, forlorn and friendless. Like a lonely bird on the rooftop. My every enemy mocks and insults me incessantly. They even use my name as a curse to speak over others. Oh, because of your great and furious anger against me, all I do is suffer with sorrow with nothing to eat but a meal of mourning. My crying fills my cup with salty tears. In your wrath, you've rejected me, sweeping me away like dirt on the floor. My days are marked by the lengthening shadows of death. I'm withering away and there's nothing left of me. Oh, but then I remember you, Lord. Oh, but then I remember that you, oh, Lord, still sitting enthroned as the king over all. The fame of your name will be revealed to every generation. <clears throat> I know you're about to rise and show your tender love to Zion. So now is the time, Lord. Now is the time for your compassion and your mercy to be poured out. The appointed time has come. Your prophetic promise to be fulfilled. For your servants weep in sympathy over Zion's ruins and feel love for her every stone. When you arise to intervene, all the nations and all the kings will be stunned and will fear your awesome name trembling before your glory. Yes, Lord, we proclaim this as a promise to be fulfilled even this very day. Yes, you will reveal yourself to Zion and appear in the brightness of your glory to restore her and give her children. He responds to the prayer of the poor and the broken and will not despise the cry of the homeless. Write all of this down for the coming generation. So recreated people will reread it and praise the Lord. We praise you, Lord. Tell them how Yahweh looked down from his high and holy place, gazing from his glory to survey the earth. 
He listened to all the groaning of his people, longing to be free, and he set loose the sons of death to experience life. Multitudes will stream into Jerusalem, praise the Lord, and declare his name in Zion. People from every land, their kings, their kingdoms, they will all gather to worship the Lord. Yes, Lord, we say, bring it forth. But God has brought me to my knees, shortening my life. So I cry out to you, my God, my father of eternity, please, please don't let me die. I know my life is not yet finished. With your hands, you once formed the foundations of the earth and handcrafted the heaven above. They will all fade one day like worn out clothing, ready to be discarded. Oh, but God, you'll still be here. You will replace it all. Your first creation will be changed, but you alone will endure. The God of all eternity, generation after generation, our descendants will live securely. For you are the one protecting us and keeping us for yourself. And we say yes and amen. Yes, yes, Lord, we accept your promise. Amen, Lord. Yes, we come into agreement with every word written here. This is your word. This is your truth. And Father God, we stand on your rock of truth. We will go by faith in our unabated trust in you. We will not go by feeling. We will not go by sight. We will not go by the appearance of circumstances, but we go by the promises that have been spoken by your very word and, and recorded by your scribes and by your prophets, Father God. And and today we take your word, we, your prophetic created people, and we speak these promises into existence yet again this day. We proclaim your word, commanding every promise to come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we do. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Mm. All right. Well, Lord, this morning we're going to put on your armor. And Father God, I take this as stainless steel, Teflon coated, nothing shall stick, nothing shall penetrate. And Father God, there shall be no burden to carry this armor because you will send us our very own armor bearers. Father God, I'm calling down armor bearers now to gird us as we put on the full armor of God, clad in stainless steel and Teflon, Father God, modern instruments for a modern day, same principles, new tools. Father God, I thank you, Lord, today that the stainless steel is going on. You said, this is a day that I have made and you rejoice and be glad in it. I don't care what you felt when you got up at six o'clock in the morning. I don't care what you felt when you got up at four o'clock in the morning. I don't care what you're feeling right now. This is a day that I, the Lord, has made, and I'm commanding you to be glad and to rejoice in it. It's a fresh start. Your glory is coming. Oh, the oppression you're feeling, it's just the birth pangs of a new day. Oh, walk out in victory as new life comes forth. This is what you've been feeling. This is what you're experiencing. So, Father God, we, we beseech you, Lord, come now. We call out to you. We beseech you, Lord, come now. Cause us to prosper in all of our ways. You said, put on the full armor of God. So Lord, we do the, just that. When the day of evil comes, you'll be able to stand your ground. And after you've done anything, well, we're still standing and we will not stop standing and we will not be pushed back. We will move forward. We're standing our ground. And after you've done everything, you'll still be standing. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist and with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit the very word of god and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and keep on praying for all of the saints so father god i we pray for all of the saints today we join our voices in unity today we, i pray for the saints they pray for the saints together we join our prayers and our praises together inclining to your ear lord bring your ear down and we say, Lord, stand on guard for us. Stand on guard with us. You said, be bold, be courageous, be expectant for I am with you and I am with you wherever you go. And Father God, we stand on that very promise this morning and we pray for one and each and other as we, your Ecclesia, continue to move in our positions of victory and strength, taking yet again more ground this very day with Mike the Spike out as the tip of our spear 
here today. Father God, I thank you that he is standing over that ground, that holy ground, that sacred ground in Ottawa, that Father God, you are breaking forth brand new portals of release of glory of freedom, and we shall start to see the justice reign upon this land. And Father God, you always said first Canada, then America, first Canada, then America. And Father God, let this be the day that first Canada, then America, and let it flow across your beloved North American continent. Father God, we call it forth now. And Father God, we dispatch the angels. We dispatch the hosts over that sacred ground, over the parliament buildings, over the museum of modern men and history, over the very location of that spike sitting on the Ottawa River in Hull Connect over in Gatineau. Father God, right here, right now, we dispatch the hosts and we command them. We release them to shred every plot, every platform, to raise every platform to the ground upon which the demonic strongholds have been standing over which we bind up and we rebuke all of the demonic, all the demonic lookouts, Father God, raise them to the ground. We bind them up now and we command them be taken under your feet to the dry and arid place. And Father God, in advance of Mike's arrival, we plead the blood of land over that sacred holy ground. And we say that from this day forward, that ground can never be used for anything but to magnify and glorify your name and let it be a representation of the freedom that you are breaking forth across this land. And I thank you, God, Father, now, even as that oil went on in February, even as that communion was taken in February, even as that blood was shed on those rocks, on that altar, upon that spike in February, Father God, I'm thanking you. I'm calling you on that promise now that that ground be cleansed and be proclaimed holy, not just from our mouths here on earth, but let it be proclaimed from your mouth, Yahweh, right from the throne of heaven, that this Canada is now holy, sacred ground, and there is no force of evil that can ever be allowed to prevail upon it anymore. We, the people, have stood up and we march forward on your word and your truth, and we will not tolerate evil, and coming together with the strength and the might and the reinforcement enforcement of your host and the of your very breath god <laughs> blow your ruha kakadesh across our land god this very morning father god and we call we call this land of canada the dominion of canada consecrated set aside put aside for your holy use we are your people you are our god and i thank you lord that you have girded us in the armor in the very armor of god that gives us everything we need to march forth and i thank you lord that you've been purging the atmosphere of even this very call of all the demonic all the wolves and sheep's clothing I tell you now, we're on to you, we're on to you, and we have the full power of God behind us. So all those wolves, we command you, we command you to go now with your tails between your legs, back into the caves and the hiding place from which you came, for God has said his sheep have risen and we kick you out now in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot have this Zoom call. You cannot have this Dominion of Canada. You cannot have the Declaration Church. You cannot have the, the fast trader. You cannot have the plans of God. We rebuke it now. You have been found out. You are the devourer and you must repay everything that you stole. Oh, those that came around flashing money, those that came around enticing with dollar bills, we rebuke it now. We cannot be bought. We cannot be compromised. We will not sell out. There is nothing you can do to entice us. We are empowered by the Spirit of God and not your disgusting spirit of mammon. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke you now. Get out of here in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. 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 Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh, 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 we just broke it, guys. We just broke it. 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 Oh, we just broke it. Wow. Wow. That needed to happen.
<clears throat> wow. Oh, I praise you, God. I praise you, God. Wow. So, Father God, with today we put on the full armor. <laughs> In this cleansed atmosphere, we put on the full armor. And we guard our lives against every single attack. We put on your belt of truth that protects us against every lie and deception. I thank you, Lord, that you have been revealing it day by day. I thank you, Lord, that it even sometimes takes days to see it. Something's getting released over this call. I'm telling you, something's happening very personal right now. I don't share everything here, okay? I, mean, I live very transparently, but I don't need you to burden. I don't need to burden you with my burdens. I'm telling you, it has been fierce. It has been fierce on this battle line. We're running prophetic courses. We're trying to bring kingdom finances. We're trying to proclaim God's word. And I'm telling you, the enemy has mounted everything he's got against me and Michaela the last couple of weeks. And we just broke it. Oh, my goodness. Lord, we put on your belt. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you and Michaela, you shall condemn. That you is the inheritance of the children of the Lord. Yes. It is written. Yes. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> oh. You know, somebody needs to hear this today. There is strength in being vulnerable. That doesn't mean you put the cares of the world on your sleeve for everybody to take pity on you. There are times and places and ways to share it. Oh, I feel there's a great release here this morning. It's broken. I think it's broken. I know it's broken. I don't think nothing. I know it's broken. I'm telling you, it's been fierce, guys. We come here every day to do war for this nation, for these nations. But today, I just need to let you know, it has been fierce. The last six months have been intense. Way more intense than I could give word to. I think it just shifted. It just broke. It just broke. It just broke. Sometimes a single prayer won't do it. All of it. Listen. They've given us extra strength Tylenol to go deal with a headache. In the spirit realm, sometimes one pill won't do it. Sometimes you need to press in for months and not sell your faith. And I think he's trying to teach us that today. There are things that a single prayer will break and dispel. There are things that two prayers will do it. And there are some things that it just takes months and months and months. <clears throat> This war that we've been fighting has been probably the greatest battle that's ever been fought on the, on, on the soil of Canada and America. And it's all been taking place in the spirit realm. We're not just praying here every day. We're fighting a war. We're fighting a war. And just because there are those who see the angelic realm and there are those who see the angelic realm and the demonic. And there are those of us who have not yet received that gift. I don't see it yet. I say yet because I know he's going to give it to me. 
But just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not there. And I'm telling you, we have had battalions of armies of darkness against what we're doing here. And because I'm the tip of the spear, I get to bear the burden of the brunt of it. <laughs> and he's built me for it. I'm not complaining. I'm thanking him for it. But there are some days where I just need to be vulnerable with you and say, hey, guys, I need you to press in today. There's some stuff going on. I mean, they've canceled our home insurance. We've been kicked out of this house that we've been in for, for seven years. <laughs> These financial guys now are, I, listen, I can go on and on. You don't need to hear all the details. I'm just telling you. The reason why the warfare has been so intense is because we've taken this country back. And we've come against every demonic force. And so they've thrown everything at me personally to try to tire me out so that I can't lead this charge. <laughs> you think you're going to tire me out? I serve the God most high and he's equipped me for this. He goes before me even when I don't see him. He goes behind me even when I don't see him. He goes beside me even when I don't see him. Oh, but you see him. And I know he's there. Satan, you've been tracking our journey for 20 years. You tried to kill my wife. You tried to take away her brain. You, you stole our finances more times than I can count. You've taken three houses from us, two cars. You think you got anything left in your arsenal? The Lord has used us to put us on an updraft. He's put, he's, put, he's put layers of stainless steel on us. You cannot delude us. You cannot delay us. You cannot cause us to back down or retrace our steps. You cannot. But some battles we face, Nelly or Anita, or Judith. And I'm just looking at names. I'm not calling anybody out. The Lord's not having me call you out. Listen, I'm not identifying anybody here. I'm just calling. Me. This is for everybody, but I can't call every name. Some battles require us to press in for entire seasons. In this silver bullet world where we have an instant fix to everything, not everything is an instant fix in the spirit realm. Oh, from God's perspective, it's already done. But what he's doing in the challenge is building layers of strength and faith inside of you. We talk about picking up that shield of faith that extinguishes every fiery dart of the enemy. He gave me the metaphor. When you pick up your shield of faith, it's like your motorcycle screen. <clears throat> Even though you're looking out over the top of it, I send the airstream up over your head. Because when you extend your shield of faith, everything must bend to your will and your belief in me. And when we go through these trials and we come out the other side, we have a shield of faith that's stronger and more resilient than the one we went in with. For if there were no trial, there could be no overcoming. And if there were no overcoming, there could be no growth. Count it all joy when these trials come. Oh, my goodness. Wow. The, the, the entire atmosphere has shifted. It's broken. I don't know where each of you are at today. I mean, I know where many of you are at. I talk to a lot of you or I get emails from you. I know, I, I don't know where everybody's at. I'm telling you, you just keep pressing in. If you haven't seen your breakthrough yet, you keep pressing in. Quit whining, quit whining, quit complaining, quit blaming everybody else. Cut it out. Stand up, proclaim victory and keep moving. You'll see victory the minute you believe you have it. <clears throat> wow. Wow. All right. Lord, I thank you, God, that we never fight alone. You're constantly at work fighting all of our battles, even the ones we don't see. So, Father God, this morning, again, with your shoes of the gospel of peace upon our feet, we reclaim every step of ground that we take today, and we command the chaos to be shattered, decimated, that your peace must flow into our homes. Father God, I am calling down the very shalom of you, your shalom, Jehovah shalom. I'm calling down the spirit of Jehovah shalom to come and envelop every home, the atmosphere of everyone on this call today. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you bring your peace and the freedom that comes with it 
upon our homes, into our lives. To the storms we speak now, be still in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to see me do some things sometimes, guys, and you're not going to understand what I'm doing. But you have to understand that the God that the Lord has instructed me to protect his people, his sheep. And not all are as they appear to be. And there was some witchcraft that got into this thing. And Lord, I come before you and I publicly repent in front of my peers and your people. I kind of knew it and I let it go on too long. In my defense, Lord, I said, I wanted to be sure you don't mess with people's lives. So, Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me for allowing that wizardry that you showed to me to continue. I publicly repent of it in front of my brothers and sisters here. And I thank you, Lord, that we've now repented publicly, corporately. And any that have been seduced by that lying spirit that came into here, God, I sever the assignment of the enemy against them now. I cut it in the name of Jesus Christ. You, Delilah, spirit of seduction, you have been found out. You are now bound in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out, Delilah. You look good with a little makeup, but there's nothing but ugliness underneath you. Get out! We will not tolerate you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I sever the plans and the assignments that the enemies had against this declaration, Ecclesia. I sever the plans. I crush them now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, that you again dispatch high-ranking angelic officers of this court. We have repented of it. And according to, Corinth, to, to Colossians 2.14, the record of every charge against us has been dropped. It has been canceled. And there is no further record of it. And I thank you, Lord, that you cleanse this holy ground called Declaration Church, called the Decree for Canada, Decree for America, Decree for the Nations. And I thank you, Lord, that it is now cleansed holy ground and that all spiritual wickedness that had been allowed to creep in is now purged and cleansed by the blood of the Lamb and the broken body. And I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, that this is a brand new day. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, all of you who say I don't talk about repentance enough, is that okay now? Have we done it? All right. Yes, yes, yes. I do speak to you. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Be careful how you judge, lest you be judged by the same measure. Quit looking at the speck in my eye when you got a plank in your own. I'm mad enough to come and do this publicly. How dare you? Lord, deal with you now. I'm done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, sometimes you even begin to recognize in the moment that it was coming at you from directions you didn't even recognize until you spoke a word. And then you say, now I understand why it felt so heavy because it was coming from everywhere. You didn't even see it. Wow. Wow. Well, Lord, we proclaim this is your day. We proclaim this is your dominion of Canada. We proclaim this is your Republic of America. We proclaim it's your Barbados. The entire Caribbean region belongs to you. We proclaim Ukraine belongs to you. The entire Eastern Bloc belongs to you. We proclaim that Putin is an instrument in your army. Thank you, God, for forming him for a time such as this to scourge the evil that's taken place in Eastern Europe. I thank you, Lord, that Europe, Germany, all the whole European continent, it's yours. The earth is yours, everything in it and the fullness thereof. And Father God, you've said you've called us to the nations. And today we reconsecrate, we recommit that Eurozone. We recommit, we reconsecrate Germany, Great Britain, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, all the islands around it, Father God, now in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you that the earth is yours. 
everything in the Caribbean. Father God, we lift up the continent of Africa and the nations within it today. And we proclaim the blood of the lamb be spilled over the African continent. We say today, Africa, this is your great release of bondage from those that came to sought and kill, steal and destroy all of those resources that were yours. We release them back now to the people of the African continent. And I thank you, Lord, that all that religious spirit that has spilled itself across Latin America, South America, the lying spirit that comes dressed looking like light and goodness. Father God, I command it be exposed and the, and the shrouds of light be stripped away so the ugliness under that religious spirit can be found and bound and cast out now in the name of Jesus Christ from the very tip, from the very tip of Argentina all the way up through the top portion of Mexico, Father God, we reclaim Latin America, all of it, for you and your glory, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that all the nations in Asia, Southeast Asia, all of them, Northeast Asia, Father God, China, all of them, we proclaim the greatest outpouring of your glory fall upon these lands now. The earth is yours. We proclaim it in the authority given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, fresh fire is coming now, guys. That's all. That we had to break that thing. Oh, we broke that thing. This is a day of great celebration. We broke that thing. And God, it, you saved it for this very moment, an hour and a half before Mike goes and rearranges wrecks that altar in front of our parliament buildings. You broke the thing over here. Oh my goodness. 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 You see how all this works as an integrated whole, right? You do see this. The UD see this. This is not Mike's trip and this is Howard's call. It's not. This is all God's plan. This is all God's thing. This all happened. Mike got a vision 25 years ago. Didn't know what it means. In the middle of January, God has me make a speech on the... I had no idea what any of this meant. We started this call 15 months ago. Something started that day. None of us knew what it was going to be. And because of this call, we get invited out to make a speech on the steps of the Freedom Rally with probably 10,000 people people in attendance we ended up we were the ones that actually sent off the truckers we prayed over the very trucker that organized the entire thing that led the whole thing to ottawa we ended up praying over that guy that night after having released the host and shedding and 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 and, and repenting for the shedding of blood over canada with much warfare and much resistance still getting blowback from it from the organizers of that event how dare you speak the word abortion at our event? How dare you not allow me to? How dare you? Wow. Wow. <laughs> yep, there was some defiance going on that day. But because we walked forward in boldness and I'm going to do it anyway, you'll never invite me back, but that's okay because I will have done what I needed to do. And that day, that convoy left literally an hour after that speech. And that night, Barry drives the very the, the next night. Barry drives that first spike into the ground in Langley, British Columbia, and billions of hosts appear in the sky above us. And that day, Mike the Spike gets a vision and recalls him from 25 years and sets him off on this journey. Not one of these pieces work without the other pieces. We're part of a mosaic. We're all part of a jigsaw puzzle. All of the, if you look at this, look how God has done this. No human could have put this together. No human could have conceived or imagined it. And I'll look at the warfare that's been going on around here. I'm honestly, oh my God, you know, listen, I'll never forget. Okay, now I'm just going to talk to you. We, we've done what we need to do here today. We'll make these 22 declarations in advance. I'm just going to talk to you. I'll talk to you about the day that I got saved. I didn't know who God was. I wasn't looking for God. I'd never been to a church for anything other than outside the purpose of a wedding or a funeral. I spent a lot of time in Europe. I spent a lot of time, probably with just in travel alone, I probably spent a quarter of my time in Europe. You know, churches, Europe is full of grand cathedrals. Churches were just things you took pictures of. You went inside, you looked at the stained glass, you said, wow, that's pretty amazing, right? That's what churches were. And one day God says, you're going to church today. I said, I'm not going to church today. You go, oh, you're going to church today. No, I'm not going to church today. I'm paraphrasing this conversation. No, you're going to church today. And I walked into that church today. I literally opened up the yellow pages. I didn't even know where a church was. Never heard of this church. And I just opened up the yellow page and there it was. Boom, you're going there. And I said, really? I'm going there? There was nothing. I couldn't, I could not not drive that car. I could not not navigate my vehicle to that place, that place that I had never heard of. And I went in there, man, and I heard a message. And that pastor at the end of an hour and a half of preaching basically said, there's somebody here. There were 800 people there. There's somebody here today. God's got a word for you. Uh, I'm not going to call you out and embarrass you, but he's, and he basically spoke to me word for word with the Holy Spirit. I didn't know who the Holy Spirit was, but I just knew this guy was speaking words that some spirit thing said to me 10 minutes ago, that some spirit thing said to me six months, 
I'm like, wow, you can't make this stuff up. And we had, you know, we'd been beat up and smashed down and he had a word. And I said, okay, listen, I, okay, Lord, I don't know who you are and I don't know what you want, but if all I got to do is say, yeah, I accept you. And it was like, oh. it was like, I, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm a guy. I like to tinker with stuff. I take things apart and figure out how to put it back together again. When I was six years old, I took apart my, my father's very expensive Pioneer stereo. He came home and he flipped. He said, what are you doing? I said, I want to see how this thing works. <laughs> it was probably the most expensive piece of audio gear you could have bought back in that day. And I had that thing in pieces all over the, all over the living room floor. <laughs> but you know what? I got it back together again and it worked perfectly as new. And I don't know how everything works, but I can see how all the pieces fit. And I always somehow manage to do this. I took apart radios. I took apart cars. I take apart everything. I take apart computers. I take apart all kinds of stuff. I sometimes take apart golf balls because I always want, how do they make these things fly so far? Well, let me tell you how they make a golf ball. There's a little soft core that sits in the middle. It's, a, it's, it's, it's about the size of a quarter of a ping pong ball. And then I got some kind of machine that winds these rubber bands all over that thing. So you got this inside core of tightly wound rubber bands around this thing. And then they, I don't know how they do it, but they keep that thing compressed in together. And then they put the skin of a golf ball on it so you can bang the crap out of it and send it down the far way. <laughs> well, I got real curious more than once about how did they make this? How did this thing go? And I'll tell you what happened the first time I opened up a golf ball. I took out my saw, I took out my drywall saw, and I started cutting that thing. And all of a sudden, I had a nice cut. I, went, I got about three quarters way around the skin of that golf ball. And all of a sudden, boom, and this thing just came flying out. It hit me in the forehead, left me with a great big red welt in the middle of my forehead that stayed there a week. That's what happened. See, there was so much tension on that rubber before they squeezed the skin over top of it that when I cut the skin, the tension, boom, released. Well, that's what I felt that morning. When I said yes to Jesus, I didn't even realize how much tension was inside of me. And I said yes to Jesus, and that whole thing let go. And this time there was no welt on my forehead. There was a glow in my eyes. And I felt the release of all that tension, all that years. It just let go. Well, folks, I've never felt that again until this morning. Praise God. Yes, praise God. <clears throat> we broke it. There is such a peace in here today. Oh, my goodness. Hey, this is real life, guys. None, none, you, you realize this over 15 months. None of this is scripted, okay? <laughs> He wants us to have a moment together. We just broke something. Something it broke today. Wow. Well, Lord, I think we don't have to do any more. I think we're just going to proclaim. We're just going to sing over our nation. Mm -hmm. We're going to sing over our nation, and I think we're just going to play. His truth is marching on. And then in an hour and 15 minutes, we're going to turn this thing back on. And for those who are still around, I know some, I, I, like I'm amazed every day, the people that show up here, every day, oh, don't, don't. I mean, don't any of us, I mean, I'm working. This is kind of, <laughs> oh, it's always, it's just, so. Uh, I'll save that for, uh, there's a story for another day. Michaela said something very interesting to me last night. I went, yeah, you're right. You know, anyway. Uh, oh yeah. His truth is marching on. Hallelujah. 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 So father God today. We lift up this glorious dominion of Canada and this magnificent Republic of America. You've joined us together as brothers and sisters. And Lord, I thank you. We wrote this song to you more than a century ago. And we proclaim it every day saying that this is our home and native land. And that the forces of evil must go. I thank you, Lord, that today is the day of the fulfillment of this promise. And I thank you, Lord, that it's already happened in the United States, in that republic of the United States of America. 
There's already been a coronation of a brand new king. I don't know if I can say this or not. I, I just don't know. I just I, I need a confirmation from him before, but I'm, I feel something in my spirit about Trump that's way bigger than the United States. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm not going to speak it until I hear from him 100%. I can speak it. <clears throat> For now, we just say, oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. You are beloved nation. You are our home and native land. And no spirit of darkness or wickedness can ever stop it. Oh, Canada, oh, Canada, our home and native land. Oh, America, oh, America, our home and native land. Yes, brothers and sisters from Canada, we call you ours as we invite you into ours. Your promise, Lord, according to Isaiah 26, 15, and Isaiah 54, 1 through 17, you have made our nations great, and you have extended our borders, and we give you all the glory. This is how you've done it. You've extended our border into America, and you've extended America's border into ours. And this day we proclaim, O Canada, O Canada. This is our home and native land, and we invite you, our fellow Americans, to come and rejoice in this land with us. Oh, America, oh, America, this is our home. And who is our? We, the people of God, who are reclaiming it in this very hour for the glory of the very God who created us and it. When we proclaim, and I speak to you every spirit of darkness and every spirit of wickedness now, when I say, when we say, and from this day forward, whenever this national anthem be sung at a sporting event, even those who think they're doing it in the most casual of ways, I proclaim that we are a prophetic people, and if it comes out of our mouths, it stands. And even those who think they're just singing a nice song from this day forward, at every political venue, at every sporting venue, at every arts and entertainment venue, where this lyric is spoken or sung, we proclaim in the name of Jesus Christ that these words resonate and reverberate from the people of God over the people of God and over the very lands that he created. Oh, Canada, oh, Canada. Our home and native land, our, we, the people of God, the Ecclesia, oh, Canada, oh, America, oh, America, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts, we see thee rise. We are the true North, strong and free. And today we proclaim that freedom over our land and may it never be shattered or taken again. Oh, with glowing hearts, we see thee rise. America, the beautiful home of the brave, strong and free, we proclaim claim that this very day from far and wide oh from east to west and north to south all the way from the arctic ocean all the way down to the caribbean sea from the outer extremities of the pacific to the atlantic we proclaim from far and wide oh canada from far and wide oh america we stand on guard for thee oh god keep our land glorious and free oh canada Oh, America, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, ruler supreme, we acknowledge you. It is you and it's you alone. And by your grace and by your mercy and by your divinity, Father God, you have given this land back to us. You've given us the very air that we breathe this morning, the very beat of our hearts, the blinks of our eyes, the air that we're breathing, the water we drink, and the very soil that grows our food. You gave it all to us. You are ruler supreme and you hear our humble prayer. Hold our dominion in that glorious republic in your loving care help us to find oh god that lasting rich reward in thee as we wait upon that better day god we proclaim that day is here we proclaim freedom of the lord is upon our nation now in the name of jesus christ we stand on guard for thee we stand on guard for thee oh canada oh america we stand on guard for thee oh canada oh america we stand on guard for thee
Oh, my goodness. And we are stronger today than we were yesterday. And we'll be stronger again tomorrow than we are yet today. Oh, Father God, I thank you, Lord. Wow. Wow. I can't believe what just happened here today. I just, oh, wow. I just, I'm just stunned. I'm stunned. Uh, to the casual observer, they may not have noticed what just happened here. We just, we just won a hundred year war. <laughs> Wow. All right. Hang on. Hang on. There's only one way to seal this. And I need to go here now and I need to do this here. And uh, it just takes a second and we're going to pull that up and. And it should start to rise up out of your speakers now. Can you hear it? Here it comes. Here it comes. It starts real slow.
glory, 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 hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your truth is marching on and nothing can stop it in the mighty, glorious name of Jesus Christ. Wow, 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 wow. Well, this was a different kind of call today, but it was exactly the call we needed to have. Every day we get the call we were supposed to have. Every day we get the presence we were supposed to have. I'm telling you, it broke today, guys. It broke today. I can't, I, I just, I just, I, well, you've heard it all. You've seen it. You, you just watched what just happened here. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. All right, one more announcement from me, and then I'm going to open up the mics. We can have a few moments of chat, and then we're back with Mike the Spike at 10 o'clock. Same de declaration. So for those of you who can join, if I can't get it into the live streams, I will record it and upload it later. Uh, so we'll do at the very least that. I don't know. Yeah, Zoom is playing. Every, like Honestly, every, everything. I just I speak to that now. These games are now finished in the name of Jesus Christ and all of those technology demons that have come against this now we bind you we break it in the name of jesus christ and we forbid any more of this nonsense and chicanery in the name of jesus christ and lord i thank you father god you are lord god host of heaven we can pray for cars and see them healed we can pray for we can pray for bandwidth and see it healed you understand the mind that created the code that created the zoom and so father god right here right now in the name of jesus christ i'm asking you to come and intervene send the technology hosts now to make the linkages right and correct in the name of christ jesus i thank you for it lord <laughs> I, wow i thank you oh man i did honestly they've been messing they've been messing with me uh, on, on almost every front that you could imagine for the last several weeks like i just I, I, on every front like every front it's all broken today guys it's all broken today and here it is we talk a lot about forgiveness and we talk a lot about repentance and you watched it live time. The whole thing shifted. The minute I just publicly spoke, I repent for allowing that thing to go on. Do not be bigger than repentance. Let repentance be bigger than you. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. Um, there has been a lot of for, for, uh, uh, there's been a lot of warfare over the fast trader. There's a lot of unrighteous things going on. Not with fast trader. Fast trader is doing an, a righteous thing. Uh, but they're playing games now, and uh, they're said there are. I, I, I've got I've got the names of four people that said they want to step up and that they'd be happy to 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 take an intercessory role, that they would intercede for everything. The jack. Listen, this is a kingdom finance tool. I would not have brought it to this community, and I would have not brought it onto this call if it were not a kingdom finance tool. That's what this is. This is why I've done it. I will never turn this into a marketplace or a place of personal promotion or gain. I think you know that about me. I will put myself. I'll put the needs of everyone ahead of myself every day of the week. And I hope you've, you've seen that character. And if you haven't, well, just keep watching, okay? Because I will never sell out for my own personal. I will make decisions that will cost me before I'll make one that costs you. I will put you ahead of me every day of the week. And the only reason I brought this tool here is because I am 100% convinced in my spirit that it is a kingdom tool used to reclaim kingdom finance using the very tools that they tried to deprive and steal us. We're turning the tables on their own heads. And the spirits of darkness have caught wind of this now, and they've come against me and the things that I've been trying to do for you. There are some of you who have said, I would love to join an intercessory team for that. I'll be reaching out to you and we'll be forming. A, so I, if you're interested in that, you send me an email and you can join that team. In the days ahead, okay, uh, the, the software that, allow, that runs our community is ready. I just don't have any content in it yet. But within there, we can form groups. You can form. So if you wanted to form a group of believers in Oakville, Ontario, so that you could just talk, you could actually, you could form the, the Oakville Ecclesia group inside our community site. But I, I can also create a public group. So we can, well, we can, we can create a 24-7 prayer line, you know, where somebody is always manning that thing. And if somebody needs prayer, you can just come in and get some. That doesn't mean that I can do all of this. It means that I've got to, oh, listen, I've done plenty just to set this thing up. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I've invested in this. I'm telling you. Oh, you're a ministry. You got ministry. For, no, I'm Howard Olson. I live in a house. I've just lost this place. I'm funding all of this for all of you. And for the growth ahead. Well, I'm, not, I'm doing it for the kingdom of God. But we are investing in these things. And we're going to, that, that, that community, I see it now taking a form and a formation over the seven mountains. 
we're going to have discussion boards in there around the seven mountains. Every mountain will have its own thread. You know, God bless Telegram. I'm glad that we got that Telegram thing that we can actually discuss things in there. But, you know, some days it feels like it's just become another Facebook garbage dump. It's just instead of dumping it into Facebook, you've been dumping it into Telegram. Listen, everything we do, if it's going to be attached to this ministry, it has to have glory attached to it. Yes, we need to be aware. Yes, we need to be awake, not woke, awake. But the purpose of our awakeness is so that we can claim kingdom promises over the things that we've been alerted to, not just to complain about this and complain about that. The very things that we proclaim on this call every day, if you complain, you remain. If you give praise, you get a raise. Well, that applies to the Telegram channels too. That applies to our new community site. If you're going to bring a problem, start speaking a solution. You may not have the authority to finance the solution. You may not have the means to be the end of the solution, but you've got a mouth to speak the solution. And this is what he, that was always the intent of that telegram channel. Yes, let's be aware, but let's use it to fuel our prayer life and the things that we learn here. And for a season we did. So I'm creating a new platform. And it will be moderated. And if there's complaints in it, it'll be clipped. <laughs> it won't stand. Because if we're going to be an ecclesia that rises and shines, we're going to speak the promises of God, and we're going to continue to bring his glory and his truth upon our land. And we do that by the power of our mouth. And, you know, typing a word is an extension of your mouth. So we got to be very careful about what we speak, and we got to be very careful about what we write. Because all we're writing is the spoken word in written form. That's why this is called the word. It was spoken and then recorded. So we got to be careful about our the words. All right, that's all I'm going to say about that. But if you want to, if you want to get involved in praying for this, so we're going to be, we're going to be setting up, we're going to set up an intercessor team over each of the, each of the seven mountains. I mean, we're going to have an intercessor team over the spirit of the, over, over, over the Ecclesia, otherwise known as the mountain of religion, binding the spirit of religion, releasing the spirit of the Ecclesia. We're going to have an intercessor team over family. We're going to have an intercessory team over our educational institutions. We're going to have an intercessor team over the governmental mountain. You noticed I didn't say political mountain because we're going to bind up the spirit of politics and we're calling forth godly governance. Okay, I'm going to say that again. We, somebody, some of us still need to get this. We're binding up the spirit of, you know what politics is? Politics is a spirit of control. It's, it's no different than the spirit of religion. One plays out in the governmental realm and the other plays out in the spiritual realm, but they're cousins. They're like sisters. They're twins. So we're going to bind up the spirit of politics, which seeks to control, dominate, and destroy, and release governance. We'll have an intercessory team over media. We'll have an intercessory team over arts and entertainment, and we're going to have an intercession team over the mountain of business. Now, I mean, I look at the numbers of people here. There aren't enough of us yet, but I tell you, the numbers are coming now. What we needed to do today was I needed to, I needed to publicly repent over that, that wizardry that got in here. And some of you know what I'm talking about, and some of you don't. And if you don't, good, you've been immune to it. Some of you do know what I'm talking about, and it's broken now. That thing is gone. And if you've been seduced by it, I'm just telling you right here, right now, if you've entertained conversations with the source of that wizardry and black magic, you get on your knees at some point today and you tell the Lord you're sorry. Lord, I'm sorry I got seduced by that thing. I repent of it. You just, it, it one sentence, it takes one sentence. It takes only one sentence. Lord, I'm sorry. I got seduced by it. I didn't even recognize it. I repent of it. Set me free from it. You just do that, and you also will be set free. But I know that this sanctuary got set free today because repentance is bigger than each of us. Don't let your ego or your pride get in the way. All right. All right. So God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you. We'll, well, not, not in an hour now. We'll see you back. For those of you who can make it, we'll be back on this same, tele, on this same uh, Zoom channel. Uh, for the for the for the for the for the for the rededication of that altar, and the cleansing of that thing, and uh, God bless you. Something happened here today, guys. Something something monument. It was a monumental shift. I'm telling you, this was no small thing that happened here today. I, I, I honestly, I I felt for the first time in 20 years what I felt 20 years ago. I've never experienced it again, and it came today. It broke. It broke. It broke. 
praise you, God. And I just, I just, I just release blessing upon the people of this call. I release blessings upon our brothers and sisters. Father, even the ones that are going to come back and watch this, which has been recorded and uploaded later. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. All glory. Is Howard, good. Yes. I just want to uh, confirm that it did break today. As we were praying uh, ahead, uh, Deanne was saying that we need to be praying, you know, for you and, and Michaela and uh, not only for the morning, but the day and the after and the evenings. And then surely again, and, and the rest of them, we all agree. And as you were starting to talk about um, what was going on, I felt the, the Holy Spirit say, stand down, stand down, stand down. And, and then he showed me that um, as, as the army or the, or the police, they're in a heightened uh, situation and, and it's, it's like it could, could go bad either way. And, and, and when, the, when the thing is stopped, they say, okay, stand down, stand down. We, won't, we don't have to have our guns blazing. Yeah. And I felt we, we were saying that to Satan, that he needed to stand down. Wow. And that he didn't have any authority. We had the authority. We're taking control. We are the ones have dominion. And we say, stand down, Satan. And then I saw when <gasps> you said at the end there that something was broken, I saw the Holy Spirit's knee. I saw the Satan that was on his belly. You know how they they throw the the, the uh, criminals down on their belly and they put their knee on the back. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the Holy Spirit do that to Satan. Wow. He was thrown down onto his belly, and the Holy Spirit's knee was on his back, and he was saying, "You're going to jail. You're going to where you belong. Glory. You have been defeated in Jesus' name." Amen. So I just want to confirm. You. Thank you. Thank you for that. Well, what your words are confirming what I'm feeling. You saw it. You had vision. You saw it. What you're seeing, what I'm feeling, what we spoke, it all comes into alignment. There you go. There's a there's a confirmation of three witnesses, right? Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you for that. It broke today, guys. It broke. I remember the day in February. Lord said, quit praying for COVID. You broke it. He gave me a dream. I don't often get dreams, but when I get them, they're significant. I, I get maybe three or four in the course of a year. And I'll never forget that one that he gave me in, in February, being locked up in that prison cell. I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna retell that that story today. But I see it. He did it again today. He did it again today. He did it again. This was the day. On the day that Mike and Carmen land in ottawa to bring full circle what we began in february oh and that was like oh that's when i had the last big dream well i've had a few in the meantime i had a i've had some crazy tr dreams about trump and, <laughs> and i just i don't even know how to read so i'm not i don't even release it i just okay lord what, what did that mean uh, you'll know you'll know uh, okay lord all right it broke today thank you for that thank you lj thank you thank you thank you everybody that's that's on here standing for this nation and and, and actually coming in behind us uh, we're a family here and we do this together. So God bless each and every single one of you. May the very shalom of God envelop you this and every day. Carry the light, strap it to your feet and take the ground wherever you go. Satan's been de defeated. Jesus's knee, the very knee of Jesus Christ has got Satan pinned to the ground and he has been bound and shackled now. Whoa! <laughs> you, know, you gotta know, I don't speak stuff like this lightly. Like, I, Lord, was I allowed to say that? Lord, was I, was I allowed to say that? No, no, I put those words in your mouth. No, no, I put those words in your mouth. This was a big day. It's been recorded. All right. God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you. Uh, we'll, we'll, for those of you who can make it back, we'll see you uh, in about 45 minutes or so. All right. God bless you. I'm going to grab a coffee, maybe have a little bite to eat, blessings. and then I'll see you in 45. <laughs> blessings, 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 blessings. All right. Wow. Three. Bye, everybody. Yeah. God bless you, John. God bless. I listen. I want to send me an email or just say, let's, let's hit each other on telegram. We'll hop on a zoom call. I want to talk to you.
Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. brother. And not that you. I want to talk to you. I would. De- I. I highly desire to have a great conversation with you. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I, like, no. No. John, I love you, man. I want to talk to you. <laughs> likewise. Likewise, Howard. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. All right. See you. Three, two. We're on two. Okay. Now we're on one. One. Two, we'll see one. you in five. And for those of you who can't make it, we will record it. <laughs>